Welcome back to Squawk Box. This week marks one year since uh, the WHO declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. The world has changed dramatically since then, especially when it comes to health care and the costs associated with the lingering effects of COVID. And for that, Bertha Coombs joins us with a look at COVID-19, the next chapter. I wish we didn't have to talk about the next chapter. Well, we, we're hoping the next chapter is when we are over this, but it's really a lingering problem for so many people. COVID costs continue to be a big chunk of health care spending, and for some patients, it goes well beyond hospitalization. According to new Cigna data, 7.5% of COVID patients suffered lingering health issues, so-called long haulers, like Hannah Lockman, who says the night the NCAA shut down on March 12th, so did her lungs nearly, making for the first of 18 trips to the ER last year for breathing and heart issues and big bills. My medical expenses last year, if I didn't have insurance, were upwards of $200,000. Um, even with insurance, it was close to $8,000, um, which is a lot, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, and early Cigna data on claims from nearly 150,000 employers show higher diagnoses for heart conditions and tissue damage, nervous system, lung, and mental health issues in post-COVID patients than the average they saw in 2019, requiring ongoing treatment. It's very concerning uh, because you have this new population of people that are suffering long-term consequences of their COVID infections. And it's hard to know right now how long-term that is. For Hannah, it's been a year, and she's still struggling with fatigue and brain fog and wondering when she'll feel like herself again. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.